Hey guys, my name's Adam. This is my unboxing video. I got a box. It's kind of, I've been wanting this forever and I just feel like I deserved it, but like, I don't know, just no one got it for me. So I had to get it myself and I'm kind of bummed about it, but I got it from Japan and it took a while, but it's cool because it's from Japan. And like, I don't know, I talk about it on the gram and it's just gonna be cool and stuff. So to start off for this unboxing video, I guess you should probably be able to see the box. Um, we're gonna be using a knife. Uh, you probably have one of these. If you're in the unboxing videos, I think it's like the first thing that you guys would probably have as an unboxer. It's fragile, so you don't want to actually cut it because that would suck if you ruin what you're unboxing. But I don't know. They just they, the tape in Japan is so much better than here in the states because they use like liquid polymer coating on the tape because it's like not EPA friendly or GPA friendly, whatever it is in Japan. And it it honestly like it, it's really annoying. I end up ripping the box instead. It just, I don't like to show that side of myself on camera because I just get angry sometimes and just need to have it open faster. If you guys have any idea what this is, you'll probably be like way more excited than I am because I just deserve this and it's not something that I'm letting myself be excited about because like honestly, I had my friend over in Japan overnight it because I couldn't wait the full shipping time and it's such a crucial part to the build that I just had them send it directly to me, air freight. Uh, and actually I bought it a ticket on an American Airlines flight, so it wouldn't have to wait. And not even coach, because coach is for peasants. So what we have in here, something very cool. You might recognize this brand if you know anything about what's cool in life. Um, I guess we can open these. I don't know, I kind of like to keep everything new in box so it'll be rare and last longer. And just like, then when I go to sell it, I can say that it's new in box and rare and like new old stock and all this stuff that other stupid people like me will spend way too much money on. But honestly, it's all just personal preference. Like some people like to open these things and some people like to leave them. Wow. I'm actually kind of stoked because what we're unboxing right now is like one of those things that it doesn't come like fully done and you have to like paint it and it's kind of like a model car so, like, you know how model cars suck because like someone gets you one and you're like oh crap can't even enjoy this car because you got to put it together that's what this r32 has been like but more so that's what this is going to be like because like it comes white but it's not all white because technically even though it's white it's, it's not painted that's just the natural color it was just born this way it's not maybelline uh, yeah. oh the tape that they use in japan it's just really, really, really not EPA friendly. All right. But anyway, as you guys can see, this is really kind of small to be like a normal wing. Uh, it sucks because it's really white and we could just put it right on, but it's not white here because it's like finished and stuff. So what we have here, I'm just so not excited about this. It's not like I've been waiting forever for this and it's gonna make the car. 10 times cooler than it already is. But it's called a, a D-Max roof wing. It goes on the car and it converts it from an ugly sedan into something amazing. And I'll show you. No style. Style. No style. Style. Family car. Pimmobile that gets all the girls. No style, hot boy AF JDM soul points. These are actually super rare and I don't want the haters getting their hands on any of them. See how much I care, I just walked out of frame. I don't even care about YouTube. I don't want the haters getting their hands on them, so I bought two. Um, honestly, just to like flex on IG to be like, yo, look at my two dope new wings. But like, I didn't get one for my friend Tommy that also has an R32 sedan or anything. That, that'd be mean. Why would I do that? Well, I, I guess I should like cut the act right now because you guys probably see right through this fake JDMness. This isn't even real D-Max. This is JP fiberglass. <laughs> it's real D-Max. All right, cut the crap. What are we gonna do today? I'm gonna get caught up on this double video day thing that I've been trying to do and failing miserably every single day. So we're gonna play with my big sheet of black plastic. All right, walk over here. We got this giant thing on the wall. 
This is four feet by eight feet of what looks like ABS plastic, but it's half the price. A friend of mine, Ravi, recommended me to go to this place and purchase what is called black plastic signboard. Feels like plastic, feels like splitter material. Said it's easy to cut, it's black all the way through so it'll look good for splitters. So we're gonna use that template that I made a while back for my S13 splitter and we're gonna do a test cut with that and if all works out well, then we can start cutting it up and we can make our 32 splitter kit for an entire car. I found out that the kit on the car is actually a rare PS Deuce kit. So rather than getting rid of it and replacing it with some origin or something basic, I'm gonna retain it, put some splitters on it to get a little more lip blow, and we'll rock it. Cause it's rad and different and it's one of the only things that came on the car that's worth value now. So we're gonna ride it till the end. All jokes aside, one of my favorite things about ordering stuff actually from Japan is most of the companies like G Corp, D Max, and the companies that make like rad arrow and stuff will normally send you a catalog of all this cool stuff. And it, it's just really fun to look at and you're like, wow, why don't companies like this exist in the States? So when I get bored or I'm on the toilet or I'm on the phone with Nicole and I just want to space out, I'll uh, just kind of flip through from these little magazines. They're great. I'm going to be putting this on my eBay store for $500 in case any of you want mad JDM points and want to purchase it off me. But actually it's so rare that it's not even for sale. Sorry. I'm gonna purposely position the splitter like this so I can fit another one up and around here to try to use a maximum amount as I can and then I'll have that room left over maybe for a side skirt extension or two. My instinct was telling me to cut it out like this but then that doesn't leave really room for much else. So we're gonna try to be smart. Pro tip, I used to always admire my dad for this skill. You don't have a pencil sharpener. The manly way is to use a blade just sharpen like they used to in the olden days when they wrote their name and things with sticks in the sand in the desert yeah look at that so they used to always call me curvy tip lz normally i would be doing this with like a sharpie you know or something like that but uh since i don't want to have to paint this i figured you know what? why don't we use a pencil that would make sense right Splitter's gonna be so dialed. Incidentally, there's a company that will like, I could have just br brought them this template and they would have given me a beautiful cut. But um, I'm impatient and I don't wanna have to drive all the way to the coast because that's where they are. And that's like an hour and a half for me. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna go myself. I'll make a video out of it. You know, play, sharpen some pencils, play with some roof wings. Imagine if like, just to be funny for the video, I spent all the time of just like coloring this whole thing in. Wow, this stuff is soft. Oh my gosh, I literally just put an imprint in it with a pencil. I wonder if I could cut this with a razor blade. I kind of want to try, because that would be funny. 100% cannot cut this with a razor blade, but I tried. Uh, I hate cutting stuff in my garage. I hate cutting stuff in general, because I don't know what I'm going to put this thing on. Our tool of choice is going to be the same jigsaw that I use to cut my rad skate park ramps. I think it's called the jigsaw. I don't know, my level of masculinity doesn't depend on my ability to name tools because I know how to use them properly. But I think this is a jigsaw, and this is what I'm gonna use. And the blade is definitely much too harsh for anything plastic, but it's okay because I use it for carbon fiber. And just to make sure that you guys don't get upset with me, I'm going to be using a respirator I don't know if this stuff is toxic or if we should not be breathing it in. So with that in mind, we're going to wear this and uh, just hope that, uh, you know, we're good. All right. It's not totally perfect, but considering it's my first shot, other than a couple hiccups in the middle, of course the area that you see the most. Um, it came out actually really nice. I don't know how this material will last. It feels a little bit soft for, for uh, what I would kind of like to use. But I guess worst case scenario, I just made some really, really nice templates. So there you have it. We made a splitter. I would mount it on my S13, but it's outside right now and uh, I have a lot of stuff to do tonight and if I'm trying to get up on this double video game, 
if I pull that S13 in here and I mount that splitter up to that front bumper, you know I'm gonna start cutting all the side splitters, I'm gonna mount those up too, and then I'm gonna do the rear, and then it's gonna be 1 a.m., and then I'm gonna edit the video, go to bed, and have to pick up the engine in the morning. Did I mention I'm picking up the RB tomorrow? Hopefully that will make you not super mad at me that today I wasted your time with a bunch of, uh, what do you call it, um, ranting or rambling, but we had some fun. We got a new cool JDM part, and we made a splitter together. I'll mock it up on the R32 just so you can kind of get an idea of roughly what it's going to look like. But the R32 bumper is way different than the S13, so it's not going to be very accurate. No style. Style. No style. Style. It actually looks pretty good considering it's for a different car. So we got a little carried away and didn't end the video because I didn't feel like putting the whole big thing away. I was like, ah, why don't I just cut up one sheet while I'm at it. I realized in retrospect, it would have been smarter for me to cut a side skirt from each side. That way I could utilize the factory perfect edge, but I didn't, so we're gonna live with my mistake. I used the other sheet smartly to get a long straight edge and measured out the length that I previously measured for the side skirt extension. So I'm gonna prop this up grab out my circular saw, and we're gonna do it that way so we can get a nice, straight, clean cut. Even though these are for my S13, I'll go ahead and demonstrate how rad they're going to look on the R32. We'll be making some for this car too, so don't worry. Wow, they're way too long for the R32. But that'll kind of give you an idea Look at how sick that's gonna look. Wow. Rad car, very rad car. I like. Just to clarify too, these splitters do absolutely nothing. They're purely for aesthetics, mainly so we can look extra low without having to be so low that the wheels rub on everything. Um, just for reference too, each one of these sheets costs exactly $80, and we can get an entire kit for the front, rear bumpers and both side skirts into one sheet so we can do a full car for 80 bucks with this stuff. Um, if this were ABS plastic, I think it'd be more like 160 for one of these sheets, but it would probably last much longer. Again, worst case scenario, we're just making some really rad templates. So I'm excited to get this stuff on the S13. Next time I have it up on the lift, it'll make it way easier. I'll just blast a couple self tappers in there or uh, definitely not zip ties because that really wouldn't work for this. But yep, that's it. Short video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I was pretty stupid in the beginning. No, I didn't drink. No, I'm not high. Sometimes I just get stupid, and sometimes I have a lot of energy. Other times I don't. We're all human, and tomorrow I'm excited. That's definitely why. I'm really excited for, to get the RB tomorrow and get to put it together. Special surprise tomorrow, by the way. Surprise guest helping us out. Can you guys guess who it is? I will see you tomorrow.